What's up, folks? This is Josh here from Inside Wrestling Truth. Um, last night on Raw, we got to see the second inductee in the WWE Hall of Fame, which was Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, <clears throat> I'm really, really happy with this pick. I'm more happy with this pick than I was Warrior. Um, I feel that Jake was uh, should have been in the Hall of Fame a long time ago. Um you know, other guys, that went, there's a bunch of guys that went before him that shouldn't have never went, but I'm glad Jake finally got in. Um, a little bit on this guy up here. Um, you know, I met him a few times. Uh, he's really, was a really laid back, nice guy. Uh, I had heard a lot of horror stories about Jake Roberts, uh, but I'm really glad that he got into the WWE Hall of Fame finally. Uh, a little bit on Jake's career uh, Jake was a hell of a worker you know um, hell of a worker he was one of those guys that uh, you know he really did bust his ass and he really did uh, work hard when he was in his prime um, he was one of those guys that uh, you know really never needed a title to shine one of the very few in this business that could do it like that. Um, you know, I remember Jake Roberts, I remember his promos just being awesome. And uh, he never really screamed or yelled. He was real laid back when he cut his promos, but they were wicked when he did it, you know. Um, I know a lot of people have said that Jake don't deserve to go into the WWE Hall of Fame because of his past demons, but, you know... Jake Roberts is clean now, supposedly, and, uh, you know, I know he's worked, worked hard to get to where he's at in his recovery with the I'm Dallas Page, and, uh, you know, I'm really, really proud of Jake Roberts, uh, always was a fan of Jake the Snake, uh, my favorite Jake Roberts moment has to be when he... Of course, when Macho Man got bit by the snake, that's one of my favorite moments. But uh, I always enjoyed his matches. Uh, he had some killer matches with Diamond Dallas, well, not Diamond Dallas Page, Million Dollar Man. He had some kick ass matches with Rick Rude, um, several other people. I'm just saying, uh, you know, I think Jake Roberts is definitely, definitely deserving of the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm glad he's in the WWE Hall of Fame now uh, to join him and Warrior so far for this year's class. This year's class looks like it's uh, going to bring some power. Uh, you know, Jake Roberts is by far one of the greatest workers of all time. And a lot of people might think I'm stupid when I say this, but he's definitely, in, he might not be in my top 10 all-time favorite wrestlers, but he's definitely in my top 15. Um, you know, I had, I don't ever remember Jack holding a belt, but he may have before he got to the WWE or WCW. Um, I, I remember Jake being in the original, a lot of people don't know this, he was in the original Legion of Doom with uh, King Kong Bundy and the Road Warriors and Paul Ellery. There might have even been one more guy. I really don't remember. Um, but Jack Roberts just was always an awesome performer. Uh, he delivered on his promos. He delivered on his matches. Uh, it was sad to see what happened to his career later on in life. But uh, it seems like he's recovered from all that. And with that being said, um, I think it's definitely, definitely past due for him to go in the WWE Hall of Fame. I think he should have been in the WWE Hall of Fame before Coco Beware, um, before Edge. There's probably a couple other ones I just can't think of right now. But uh, this dude back here, Jake the Snake Roberts, 2014 WWE Hall of Fame. Um, thanks for watching. Um, Keep subscribing. Uh, 
thank all my viewers for watching. Um, I have a DVD review this week. And I'll have a new interview with the hooligans. That you guys should like. And the same tag team. But like I always say guys, uh, get your money and pay your bills. Peace.